Dividend payouts fell globally by 12% in 2020 to $1.2 trillion, according to a report by Janice Henderson. But the fourth quarter fall was less severe than expected. 34% of companies cut or cancelled their divvy during the pandemic, with the EU and the UK payouts worst affected. However, US companies were quick to reinstate payouts after the initial hit from the pandemic. Uh, setting a new annual record that the sectoral split was stark across the world with banks and energy companies slashing payouts while sectors such as pharma and tech thrived. Well, Jane Shoemake joins us, client portfolio manager of Global Equity Income Team at Janice Henderson. Hello there, Jane. I, I, I didn't um, know that stat until obviously you said it was only down 12.2% in 2020. I guess you and the rest of the industry think we kind of got away with that one. It could have been a lot worse. Absolutely. I think in the, in the middle of last year, we were expecting it to be down by about 25%. So it is much better than we anticipated. And if we put it in context, in the global financial crisis, dividends fell by around 30%. So a significantly better outcome um, last year than we had thought. And Jane, I was looking at some of your forecasts for this year. Uh, best case scenario, plus 5%. Worst case scenario, a fall of minus 2% in the headline dividend. That is a very wide forecast. Is there a comparison to this in history? I suppose really, because it didn't fall as much as we thought last year, we haven't got a huge rebound in growth for this year. I think if anything, though, from what we've just seen in the recent earnings season, is actually there's a bit more confidence around dividends and returning cash to shareholders than even we had thought. So I might expect that forecast to rise as the year progresses, actually. Ask you about the role of specials at this point, because we've seen that in the commodity space where they've been a little bit cautious around the commodity cycle. There's been a huge reliance on some of those specials. Also for other companies that have been looking to divest assets, they're giving that cash back to shareholders through the form of a one-off payment. How big a component are specials going to play in the next year ahead? Specials were quite big last year, actually, particularly in the US, Costco had a large one. I do think it is a way for companies to give some cash back. We saw Fiat giving back about 12% of their market cap recently. We've had a number of specials announced. So I do think with companies that have got sufficient cash, it's quite a nice way for them to, to give money back to shareholders without committing to a long-term plan to constantly pay their dividend at a certain rate.